the ten most useless courses in Nigeria and really it really broke my heart that Hi everyone, my name is Ivy Day Anthony and welcome back to my I channel. I've read in the title I'm going to be talking about my journey into microbiology and the challenges microbiology graduates face in our dear country Nigeria. So I thought about doing this video because in the um, introduction video I did, I mean my first YouTube video that I posted um, last week, my husband was watching it and he was like, ah, you didn't even include that you're a graduate of microbiology and i was like it's true she people will not be thinking that i did not go to school okay okay so i am a graduate of microbiology i graduated from the prestigious alabisi Banjo university oh you great <laughs> yeah another reason why i'm making this video is of course to talk about um myself being a graduate of microbiology and also uh, i remembered a meme i saw a while back and it was about um, microbiology graduates working in banks or microbiology graduates becoming CFA empires, becoming CEO, Kiniko, Kiniko, WhatsApp business. <laughs> and it just got me laughing because really, most of my classmates, they have become entrepreneurs. The likes of even myself inclusive. The only time I remember that, oh, I'm a microbiologist is when probably I see a myth about um wrong usage of drugs, especially antibiotics. It's it just tears off so, something in me and I can't just help um but talk about the dangers associated with abusing antibiotics. So without boring you and also okay, also I also saw one post like that a while back talking about the 10 most useless courses in Nigeria and really it really broke my heart that my dear course was listed amongst it and that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video microbiology is not a useless course at all it's not a useless course and okay let me just start by saying what microbiology is microbiology is in simple terms in clear terms is the study of minute organisms, the study of microorganisms, micro small organisms that cannot be seen um, with our naked eyes, with an unheated eyes, so you can see them with the use of a microscope. So it's the study of these organisms. And microbiology is an important part of medicine. There are so many branches of microbiology. We have food microbiology, we have environmental microbiology, medical microbiology, petroleum microbiology, yes. So, and it's just very sad that our dear microbiology is being really cool like this because of the type of country we find ourselves in. So my journey into microbiology, um, have I always wanted to study microbiology? I would say no. You know how when we were kids, when you has course, okay, so what do you want to be in the future? Anybody that did not say they want to become a doctor, they want to become an engineer, want to become a lawyer it seems like you don't have a good future ambition so i would say that i followed the crowd when i was young and all of us did and whenever i was being asked so oh, what do you want to become in the future i would probably say i want to become a doctor you remember the days of sandalili 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 later we got to know that it's standard living but that aside so i am a doctor in my country and everybody knows me well if you look at me up and down you know that it's true <laughs> okay so I, I sang that song too and i can even remember when i was in jss1 jss2 one of my teachers asked me, oh, I am a doctor, do you want to become in the future? And I said, I want to become a doctor. I haven't said precisely, I want to become a gynecologist. <laughs> but by the time I finished secondary school, I decided that, okay, I thought about it. Ha, huh, do I have the brain for medicine like this? 
and I, I I just read I read about microbiology I read about I read about different courses so I felt okay let me just um, apply for microbiology so I chose um, University of Ibadan in my jam University of Ibadan and as my first choice when jam result came up I scored 199 and I had to do a change of institution to Labisin Obanje University and I went to the center to do the change of institution and the attendant advised me, it was an elderly woman, she advised me that I should, oh, why not go for pharmacology? She brought out, I think, was it a book here or something? She brought out a book containing a list of courses and an institution and how many, people, how many people have chosen the institution. Like that, you understand what I mean? So she brought out that book and she was telling me, okay, so many people had already chosen microbiology and just to give me an hedge, to increase my chances of gaining admission. She advised that I choose pharmacology. She said she would have advised pharmacy, but a lot of people had already chosen pharmacy. So I chose pharmacology. You know, the nightmare of Nigerian students is staying at home an extra year. So I yielded to her advice and I chose pharmacology. And I wrote post UTME, admission list came out and my name came out um, on the merits list, on the first list. And guess what? They gave me my microbiology back. It was practically thrown back at me. But it was. You must use this microbiology. So I was excited. I was happy. And I entered school. It was a smooth ride until I went for my IT in 300 level. I, I don't know if I mentioned that um, there's also pharmaceutical microbiology. I don't know if I mentioned that, but there's also pharmaceutical microbiology. So the first three months, I did it in a pharmaceutical, a pharmaceutical company, a very popular pharmaceutical company. And don't even get me started with what I went through before I got a place to do my internship. It was terrible. This Nigeria, eh? hey God, God, if you don't know someone, hmm, just make sure you know God and old God like that. This walking through the streets of Lagos and Ogo State, submitting my IT letter and writing aptitude test here and then. I eventually got a place to do my IT. So the first three months I did at a popular pharmaceutical company and along the line before the three months elapsed, I was supposed to spend three six months there. So before the three months elapsed, the company had an issue and the court gave an order for the company to be shut down. So that that's, um, was the end of my internship there. So because I had to just complete the six months internship, so I went to a diagnostic center. Since I didn't study medicine, I was definitely going to do something related to medicine, like something in the medical field. So in my mind, I wanted to become a medical microbiologist. Well, I just noticed the huge discrimination um, between microbiologists and medical laboratory scientists or technicians it was a tough one and here's the issue medical laboratory scientists um slash technicians they have a regulatory body i believe that yes a, a regulatory body that regulates their practice they have license to practice and microbiologists medical microbiologists do not have anything of such so it's just sad that medical laboratory scientists are the ones that are allowed to work in the medical laboratory, not microbiologists. Even microbiological lab within the medical lab are still being operated by this medical laboratory scientist. It's just so sad that our dear microbiology is being disregarded in this part of the world because medical doctors rely on her diagnosis to be able to prescribe antibiotics appropriately. It is really disheartening that microbiology that plays a crucial role when it comes to diagnosis through culture, sensitivity, and microscopy is being disregarded. It's really sad. I can even remember um, during my internship at the Medical Diagnostic Center, um, a medical laboratory scientist an external one, I think maybe from the regulatory body or something, came around and she saw me with um, other microbiologists, students of microbiology that were in the lab and she was like, what did you study or what are you studying? I was like, microbiology. She was like, no, 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 you should not be here. 
you should not be here go to food industries go to petroleum industries go to blah 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 and from that moment that period actually just opened my eyes to see that okay in this part of the world medical microbiologists may not really may not try right. fast forward to after my graduation i was eager to start a career in microbiology i'm not giving up in microbiology even if i knew that i may never get to practice as a medical microbiologist but most company required years of practical experience which is almost impossible for a fresh graduate like me no i get those years of experience from so eventually i got a job with um a finance company and i started um in the underwriting role up until when covid happened and i had to work in diverse roles within the same company so um, from being an underwriter in the company when covid happened and we were at home and i had to work remotely i worked in telesales i even worked as a loan collector this role stuck me resilience this role stuck me that i could be anything i want to be as far as i set my mind to it but they also marked the beginning of my departure from microbiology as a career path and I worked in this company for about four years before I eventually resigned. Before I resigned, I'd already started um, taking up some courses. I'd already started upskilling and I got a role as a freelancer before I resigned. And from there, I have, I've been doing so many things, so many things. I've been trying to upskill, transitioning into tech and also running the pest control company with my husband and exploring other opportunities. This experience has been challenging and rewarding. It just made me realize that I can be meaningful things. I can do meaningful things outside my academic background. There are moments where my microbiology knowledge comes alive, especially when I hear conversations around the gut health, around um, normal flora, body loving microorganisms, about microbial meat. I should even start a series on debunking microbial meat because so many misinformation out there, but I will decide on that later. And also when I hear about antibiotics and most especially people abusing antibiotics, it just gives me a headache. I cannot overlook it. You cannot be around me and antibiotics will be prescribed for you to cure an infection. And because you feel well, days into taking the medication, you stop taking it. You can't be around me and that will happen. Because when you do that, you're causing more harm than good to yourself. This is just a reminder that although I have shifted careers, but my course of study, my undergraduate course, Microbiology will always be a part of me. Do I regret studying microbiology? Absolutely not. I don't. I don't regret studying microbiology. It's just this part of the world where I found ourselves in where this course of study is not valued. The knowledge I have gained as a microbiology graduate, the knowledge I have gained is very valuable and will always be a part of me. If I am to give an advice to my younger self or a prospective student, I would say that in all thy gettings, get wisdom, get knowledge, get appropriate guidance before you choose a course of study. It is not enough to just want to get into school fast, fast, fast. I don't want to stay an extra year at home. You wrote JAM, you wrote Pursuit TME, and the course you applied for was not given to you. <laughs> you know, this is common in Nigerian universities. When you apply for a particular course, they give you another course. I don't know why they just throw courses at people. I say throw at people because why would someone apply for medicine and the university will now give the person plant science? I be a botany. I be applied zoology. Don't say because you don't want to stay an extra year at home. You not just you just take any course any course you are being given. Because at the end of the day you will go to that university. You go to the university and you don't say actually yeah, at home. You go to that university. They will ask of you, ah, she won't call ah, oh, I'm school. Oh, I'm university. You too. I'm a school. I'm a lady. By the end of four years, you now know what's up. So I would say that if you have younger ones that are prospective um, university students, please guide them appropriately. Read up about the course. Check for the um career opportunities, career prospects of that course. How lucrative is that course in this country, Nigeria? It's so sad that many of us entered university without having the full knowledge of 
the course we were studying and the career prospects and limitations so you should not fall into the same trap. Studying microbiology in Nigeria has taught me resilience, has taught me adaptability and the importance of lifelong learning and while the system will not favor us as microbiology graduates in Nigeria the knowledge we have gained can serve as a foundation for exploring so many opportunities. So, if you have made it this far, thank you so much for watching. You're my bestie for life. So, I hope my story has shed more light on the challenges of studying microbiology in Nigeria. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your loved ones, and please subscribe to my channel. Very, 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 very important. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you know when my next video drops. And you can share your thoughts in the comment section or if you have similar experience, please share with us in the comment section. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye.